Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is still Tuesday, November 10th, and it's now 7.20 p.m. And I want to share with you these words from the Lord, because I do believe they are meaningful for us and do come from our Lord himself. But you take everything anyone tells you is from the Lord to him, to the word, in prayer, whatever. Ask another fellow brother or sister in Christ that you trust and get confirmation for yourself. Okay, with that, I'm going to start with this one that's titled The Trumpet by Bill Burns. He calls all his messages that. Rise up and encourage yourself in the same way David encouraged himself when things were not going well for him. Rise up. And believe that I am for you, that I am with you, and that I will bring you through to a position of victory. Rise up in this hour and allow your belief to soar. Allow yourself to again believe in my goodness and watch the blessings of my kingdom come to you in this season says the Lord now that makes me wonder does he mean this season as in this fall as others have said or is this like in this season of your life as in for me it's the later years of my life. For you, it might be you're just getting started in your 20s being an adult. Everybody's in a different season in their life. But I hope it means this season as in this autumn, <laughs> this fall. That's what I thought of immediately because so many have prophesied or dreamt of something happening this month so we shall see okay all right now i wanted to share with you one from pastor randy brodigan all right he titled it be encouraged by my love or maybe jesus gave him that title he doesn't say my children show forth my praises in the earth show forth thanksgiving show forth my love to people for i love them dearly more than anyone can imagine i want them with me speak and share the gospel and the love of god with others that they might come to me my spirit is working to enable them to come to me. But you must be about my business. You must be about my business, saith the Lord. Draw near to me now. And <laughs> that just hit me. You must be about my business. I'm hoping someone who shared a dream with me where they're in a business suit and the Lord told her that meant you must be about my business. <laughs> I hope she'll let me share it. Okay, anyway, moving on. But you must be about my business, saith the Lord. Draw near to me now and I will draw near to you. Night or day does not matter. I am with you. I am for you. And my love will prevail over all things. So, stay in my love. Rest in my love. Be encouraged by my love. And know that you always have my love, saith the Lord. Know this, what you entrust to me, 
I have. I am working and I will bring it to pass. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. When you ask me, believe and you will receive. And when you seek me, seek me with all your heart. For I am near to be found. I am a rewarder of those who diligently seek me. When you knock, I will answer and will show you great and mighty things. Things you do not know you need for the time and situation you are in. And that was the end of it. And I mean, I just... This confirms so many things that I know the time we're in, we are there. We are at the beginning of the very end, brothers and sisters. Now, whether it's days or weeks, I don't know, but I doubt that it's months. It may be a month or two, but I don't see it going past Christmas. The first rapture and us coming back to help those left behind. I don't see it going past this year. But that's just how I'm taking different messages that I have seen uh, or read or whatever on other channels it's an awesome time to be alive if you're a Christian and you love God most and you love your neighbor as yourself you've been able to forgive you're praying daily you're staying in the word it's an awesome time to be alive if you're not loving others like you should, if you're not being able to forgive everyone, if you're not being able to give up every sin, nothing unholy will enter into the kingdom of God. It just means you'll have to go through more tribulation, the seals. That's Revelation chapter 6, if you want to read that. It starts with the Antichrist being introduced to the world he sort of already has been in a song through oh what's his name now i've forgotten it's some rapper that's not christian no it's satan introducing his own a satanic group anyway uh busta rhymes yeah that's it busta rhymes um, now I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, I'm really tired. I'm going to end it here. And I pray that that encouraged you. And um, will help you in some way. Help you prepare. Get ready. If you're not, it's not too late to repent. And make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Okay? <laughs> My hair's sticking up. I was laying down. <laughs> I thought I better sit up to make this video. I, don't, I didn't look too good laying down. I'm just so, so tired. And I think it's that medicine they put me on. But I see my doctor tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll be on here much. I still have a lot of email to do, but I'm working on it, y'all. I'm trying to get caught up. And I'll get through it eventually. All right, with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I love you. I pray blessings over you all and pray for you every night. So I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.